In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the quick unboxing and setup of Epson Workforce ES60W scanner. Let's start with the unboxing so we can take it out. That's the USB cable. Now use the USB connector. So one end goes here. And the other end goes to your laptop. You will see this white light and wait for the charging to complete. So now I'm going to show you how to set up this scanner that is ES60W. Now we have to download the Epson Scan Smart. Go to the web browser. Type in Epson Scan Smart. Select it. Select Epson Scan Smart Downloads. Scroll and click on the driver and utilities combo package. Click here. Scroll down and type in the name of your scanner ES 60W. So that is Epson Workforce ES 60W. Select it. Scroll down and you can see that is our scanner. Here are the download. Now it will select the operating system automatically. If not, then you can select manually what kind of windows you have and then click on the download button. Open the file. Click OK and continue the setup. So we are downloading the Epson driver for this scanner. Accept terms and conditions. Click next. Now we have to select if we want it to use it with the connect via USB cable or if we want to use it with the Wi-Fi. So I'm going to use it with the Wi-Fi. Click next. There is a Wi-Fi button on the scanner. We have to move it onto the right side. Here you can see there is a black button. Move it right side and click next on the screen. Click next. Now it also says check the USB connection. So make sure so you that means we need to connect with the USB cable. So already the USB cable is there and we have connected it for the charging. Click next. Now check on the scanner that white light here is ready is on. Now click on the next. Now it also says like if the battery is fully charged or sufficiently charged only then the Wi-Fi setup will take place. So you might have to wait until the enough charging is done. Once it is done you can start the setup. Now click next. Select your Wi-Fi network and click next. Enter your Wi-Fi password. Click next once you enter the password and wait for the setup. Scanner is connected to the Wi-Fi. We can click on the next button. Now, now it's going to check if it's working or not. So let's scan a document. So place it here. Go to the screen and click on the next button. Now 
now click on the scan button that is here so scan is transferred quickly so that means it is working and it is transferring the scan and click on the finish so you can see the Epson scan smart app which we can use for the scanning so once we do the scan click on the next button now we can select what we want to do if you want you can save it attach to email send to google dropbox print save to word even we can save to the powerpoint click on the save button if you want you can save it as a pdf or any other format you want from here so i select pdf change the name of the document select where do you want to select the folder you want to save it so i'm going to use it at the desktop select folder click save button so instantly it will save it and the window will close so setup is complete so remove the USB cable and make sure your scanner is completely charged now I'm going to show you how to scan with it so just place a document here once you click on the scan button it will start the scanning automatically it will open the window in your computer and it will send the scan there this way we can do the setup of this scanner and start using it for wireless scanning thanks for watching